Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for using the Google Drive resource app in Schoology. So I went to my resources and then I chose apps and I've installed the Google Drive resource app. And this loads your actual Google Drive into Schoology. And you'll notice right off the bat that it probably looks quite a bit different than your drive, how you would open it. And that's because Schoology organizes by your most recently edited documents. So if you've made changes to a document or made changes to things in a folder, those items will appear at the top of the list. That's even a little bit different than the way Google interprets recent, because if you just open a document in Google, it will interpret it as a recent document. But that's not true in Schoology, you actually have to edit the document. So that's this one thing when you're looking for documents, if you've recently edited them, they will be up at the top. If they're older, they'll be further down. Now, this is actually your Google Drive right here. It's not a copy. So you can add Google Docs and things right from Schoology, and they will also appear in your Google Drive as well. And that's the same for students. If you don't want them to open a separate tab to do things in Google, they could start their documents from right here, and then it will be right in the resource app right away. You also have the power to delete things from Google right from here. But if you delete it from right here, it also deletes out of your Google Drive. So just keep that in mind. It's not like Google Drive is still safe from this. If you delete it out of Schoology from here, you're also deleting it in Google Drive. So just be wary of deleting things out of Schoology. You can also reorganize where your resource apps are where they are in your list and which ones are loading first. So I have Google Drive at the top because I want that to load as soon as I open my resource app. And the way you can do that is by clicking on the little arrow and then clicking reorder. And then you can click and drag these to wherever you want them. But since I want Google Drive to load first, I'm gonna leave that one up at the top. So every time I open the resource app, then Google Drive is gonna be the first thing that comes up. So now if I want to put one of these documents in a class, I'm just going to check the documents that I want to bring in, and then I'm going to go to import, and it gives you three options. And the biggest difference is between file and link. File is going to be a static document, meaning if you change it in Google, after you do this import, it will not change in Schoology. Link is live, so if you import a link, when you make changes in Google, that will also be reflected in your Schoology class. So it's just, if you want the latest and greatest, you go with link. If you want it to stay the same, even after you edit it, you would go with file. Private link is a little different. Private link is only accessible to you. So the link would be in the class, it would be visible, but you would be the only one that could open and view that link. So I'm gonna import this document as a file, just to show you how that's gonna look. So it'll kick you over to a page now where you're going to tell it where you want that document to go. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to choose this Schoology training course. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to click copy item. Now you could also copy this into a resource if you had like a group shared resource or something like that. You could put it in and copy it there as well at the same time. So now I'm going to click copy item. It's going to take me back to my resource app. And I'm going to jump into that course now and I'm going to show you how that document is going to look when I import it like that. So now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this page, which is where recently imported documents will be. And here's that document right here. And if I open it, it's going to open that static document right in Schoology. And again, this will not change if you change the document in Google Drive. Okay, so that's just one thing to remember. Now I'll show you what it'll look like if you do a link. So if I go to Add Materials and then Add Import from Resources, it's going to open up that Google Drive resource app again. So I'll just click on Apps. Google Drive is going to open up. And now I want to show you what it's going to look like when we go to do a link. So I'm going to check this little box right here, go to import, import link. 
And when you do it from a class, it takes one step out of it because it knows what class you want to put it in. So you don't have that screen that pops up that asks you where you want to copy it to. It just automatically puts it in the class that you're already in. Now you can see this came in as a link. You can note the difference between the file and the link. And now if I open this up, it actually opens in its own Google Docs window. And again, as I make changes to the document, that will be reflected because this is actually the Google Doc itself. So now another request that comes up quite a bit is teachers want to make students make a copy of a document when they put things in Schoology. So you might give out a writing prompt and students are supposed to open the document, make their own copy and type right on that original document. So the way you would do that, there's no direct way to do it in Schoology, but I'm going to show you kind of a workaround so that you can do it. So if I went to this Google Doc right here and copied the link, so I'm going to copy it. You do want to make sure that this is shared so that anyone with the link can access. So I just hover over it. Anyone with the link can access. You just want to verify that that's what the share setting is. I'm going to go back into Schoology, add materials, add file link or external tool. I'm going to choose link. And then I'm going to paste that link in here. And now you can see at the end of every Google document, it's going to say view, edit, or copy. And what you want to do, if you want every student to be forced to make a copy, you're going to change that wording to copy. And now you can change the title of this to anything. So you, you could just change this to like, whatever the name of your document is, and then click add. Now what that's going to do is when a student goes to that link and they open it up, it's going to force them to make a copy as soon as they open it. Okay. So they'll automatically have a copy made as soon as they open the document. Okay. I'm not going to show you right now because I'm already the owner of that document, so it's not going to make me make a copy. But when somebody who is not the owner of that document goes in there, then they're going to be forced to make a copy. Okay, so that's a useful thing. All you have to do is change the last word in the URL to copy. And then it's the same as forcing them to make a copy when they go in. One more way that you might want to do this is you may want to embed a Google document right in Schoology so the students don't have to go to a separate page. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to add a page. And then the page will come up. And I'll just name it Doc for Google Docs. And then I'm going to go to this little arrow right here, which is for insert content. And then from here, I'm going to choose Google Drive. And it's going to open that same Google Drive app. And what I'll do in here is then I just, I check the doc document just like before, and then I go to import. And here, when you do it on a page, you have the option to import embed. So that's what I'm going to do. And then this little yellow box will appear. And that signifies that that document is there as an embed. And you can resize this if you want so that it is bigger on your screen. And then you can go to create. And now when I scroll to the bottom of the page, there is going to be a page that I can open up that will have that Google Doc embedded in it so that I can open that doc right in Schoology. So now I can open up this page against a different icon. And this will give me a version of that Google Doc right in Schoology. And now this is a live document as well. So if you make changes on the Google document, those will appear on this document when they change them and the student would have to refresh the page. This is good if you don't want students distracted by other tabs up at the top or opening multiple pages. So that's how you use the Google Drive resource app in Schoology.